Well, for some residents in Cameron County, the pandemic brought much needed funding for a water plant that had a history of problems. And as Channel 5's Santiago Caicedo found out, repairs are on the way. Oh, dear Lord, and it was worse right now, but I just took some of it out. Olga Garcia has been using this water from the Military Highway Corporation for years. And last month, she received this letter in the mail. Uh, risk of getting cancer. It, it tells you everything. The letter dated on January 14th warns her the water coming out of her faucet has arsenic levels that go over the legal limit by the EPA. Maybe along the line you'll get sick. They're dealing with our lives. That's, that's not right. The water filtration plant from the Military Highway Water Supply Corporation has had issues. By uh, replacing and rehabbing, uh, you know, this part of the system uh, will produce better quality of water. And part of the repairs that will be happening at this water treatment plant includes replacing this mechanism inside this tank, which separates the solid material from the water. And thanks to $200,000 from federal COVID stimulus money given to Cameron County, most of the filtration system at the plant will be completely replaced. One county commissioner knows the problem all too well. Some of those calls that we're getting is the, the quality of water, for example, uh, the color of the water, the odor of the water. All my children have medical problems. We, and we're saying it's, it's uh, eczema of the skin, a lot of things are wrong with uh, my children, and it's too much of a coincidence. Olga Garcia has filed suit against the Military Highway Water Supply Corporation, claiming their water has negatively impacted her health. You can count on Channel 5 to follow up on this case. In Los Indios, Santiago Caicedo, Channel 5 News.